Tuesday, the 9th of December, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer for Thursday in the second week of Advent. Yes, see. Thank you for joining us in worship tonight. You know the time has come. You must wake up now. Our salvation is even nearer than it was when we first became believers. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the everlasting Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, 
holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 37, verses 19 to 42. Psalm 37, part 2. The Lord cares for the lives of the godly, and their inheritance shall last forever. They shall not be ashamed in bad times, and in days of famine they shall have enough. As for the wicked, they shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, like the glory of the meadows, shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous are generous in giving. Those who are blessed by God shall possess the land. Those who are cursed by him shall be destroyed. Our steps are directed by the Lord. He strengthens those in whose way he delights. If they stumble, they shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds them by the hand. I have been young and now I am old, but never have I seen the righteousness for the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. The righteous are always generous in their lending and their children shall be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, and dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice. He does not forsake his faithful ones. They shall be kept safe forever, but the offspring of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and their tongue speaks what is right. The law of their God is in their hearts, and their footsteps shall not falter. The wicked spy on the righteous and seek occasion to kill them. The Lord will not abandon them to their hand, nor let them be found guilty when brought to trial. Wait upon the Lord and keep his way. He will raise you up to possess the land. And when the wicked are cut off, you will see it. I have been, I have seen the wicked in their arrogance, flourishing like a tree in full leaf. I went by and behold, they were not there. I searched for them, but they could not be found. Mark those who are honest, observe the upright, for there is a future for the peaceable. Transgressors shall be destroyed, one and all. The future of the wicked is cut off. But the deliverance of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord will help them and rescue them. 
he will rescue them from the wicked and deliver them because they seek refuge in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the word of the Lord written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 1 to 9. That's Isaiah 7, 1 to 9. In the days of Ahaz, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, king of Judah, king Rezin of Aram, and king Pekah, son of Remaliah of Israel, went up to attack Jerusalem but could not mount an attack against it. When the house of David heard that Aram had allied himself, it, itself with Ephraim, the heart of Ahaz and the heart of his people shook as the trees of the forest shake off before the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to, to meet Ahaz, you and your son Shejashub, and at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway to the fullest field, and say to him, Take heed, be quiet, do not fear, and do not let your heart be faint because of these two smoldering stumps of firebrands, because of the, the fierce anger of Rezin and Aram and the son of Remaliah, because Aram, with Ephraim and the son of Remaliah has plotted evil against you, saying, Let us go up against Judah and cut off Jerusalem and conquer it for ourselves and make the son of Tabil king in it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, It shall not stand, and it shall not come to pass. For the head of Aram is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is resin. Within sixty-five years, Ephraim will be shattered, no longer a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of Remaliah. If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verses 8 to 17. That's Revelation 2, 8 to 17. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna, write, These are the words of the first and the last, who was dead and came to life. I know your affliction and your poverty, even though you are rich. I know the slander on the part of those who say that they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Beware. 
the devil is about to throw some of you into prison so that you may be tested and for 10 days you will have affliction. Be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. Let anyone who has an heir listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Whoever conquers will not be harmed by the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamum, write, These are the words of him who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know where you are living, where Satan's throne is. You, yet you are holding fast to my name, and you did not deny your faith in me, even in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you, where Satan lives. But I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold to the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the people of Israel, so that they would eat food, sacrifice to idols, and practice fornication. So you also have some who hold to the teaching of Nicolaitans. Repent then. If not, I will come to you soon and make war against them with the sword of my mouth. Let anyone who has an ear, listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. To everyone who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give a white stone, and on the white stone is written a new name that no one, who, that no one knows except the one who receives it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. 
defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The Collect for the Second Week of Advent Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside, worship you without growing weary, serve you without failing, diligently seek you, happily find you, and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. Grant to your servants, O God, to be set on fire with your love, to be strengthened by your power, to be illuminated by your spirit, to be filled with your grace, and to move on with your help. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the giver of all good gifts, give your grace, we humbly pray, to Reverend Father Dean Husbands, Reverend Father Winston Lewis, the Reverend Daniel Pontiflet Andre, Reverend Father Ainsley Prince, and the Reverend Dr. Wendy Commoner York, who were recently ordained as priests in this diocese. So fill them with the truth of your doctrine and clothe them with holiness of life that they may faithfully serve before you to the glory of your great name and for the benefit of your Holy Church, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of goodness and love, in whom we can trust in every hour of need, have mercy on all who are faced with fear and distress through viruses, earthquakes, fires, pestilence, flood, and any disaster affecting your people. We ask that help may be given to them speedily, and that whatever emergency may be turned into an opportunity to strengthen the bonds of love and service which bind men and nations together. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>